Hi everyone, welcome to today's video where we are going to discuss three PowerPoint tips that you need. So if you're a person that creates a lot of PowerPoint presentations and you feel like you create boring presentations, this is the perfect video for you. We're going to show you some tips and tricks that you can use throughout PowerPoint and that you can just use to, to, to be creative in PowerPoint. And hopefully all of these tips will just help you blow someone's socks off with your new, next presentation. So follow along in this tutorial and we'll show you exactly how to do this. So all of our basic startups are going to be from a blank canvas. As you can see here, there's no text boxes, nothing in here. That's to show you how we can do this from scratch. So to start out our first tip, we're going to head over to the insert section at the top of our ribbon. And we are going to then head over to text. We are going to insert a text box in this slide. And it can be wherever you want it, doesn't matter. And we're going to type in the minus sign around about 10 to 15 times. Anywhere there, you can experiment with this, it doesn't really matter. The more you have, the more condensed your uh, this whole thing will be. Uh, the less you have, it's going to be a bit stretched out. So you can play with this. It's an easy way to, to do this, so don't worry about it. Uh, after you've filled in all of your uh, your minus signs, we're going to head over to the shape format at the top of our ribbon. So if you don't see it at the top of your ribbon, just select your text again, and it will pop up here. So we're going to head over to the shape format, and then in the word art styles, we are going to select the text effects. So from here, we're going to go down to the bottom to transform, and as you can see, there's a lot of shapes. If I just browse over these, you can see our minus signs are starting to act funny. And that's exactly what we want. So for example, for this example, I'll just be using, let's do this wave. And as you can see, it's already changed a couple of things. And you're going to just stretch this out. And from here, you can play around. You can do whatever you would like. And then just keep on expanding whatever you would do. I'm just gonna, let's give it a little bit of a twist there. And you actually want to enlarge this so that it covers your whole section, your top section of your presentation. So this is a bit extreme. Let's just bring it back a little bit. There we go. So let me just zoom out to show you you can see this exceeds the limits of our slide and that's perfect. That is exactly what we want. From here on, it is just going to show you the slide and the rest of the sections at the top here will be cut out of your presentation. So don't worry about that. Uh, that's, this is exactly how we want it. So we're gonna right click on this text now. This Remember this is a minus sign, so I'm referring it to it as text. Uh, so we're going to head over to the format text effects down at the bottom here and in this format shape that pops up at the right side of your screen you're going to have go over to the text options and go to the full so from your text full we want to choose a picture or a texture full so from here when you click it you can see i've already have this picture preloaded here but you can then just go to insert and you can choose from a file, stock images, wherever you would like to get your images. Um, you can get it from there. So let's, for example, change this just to show you. There's an ocean view there, as you can see. Uh, but we're going to leave it at this, something col colorful. So once you're here at the text options and you do not want to use a picture, you can use the texture full as you can see if you click on the texture here there's a bunch of options that can pop up here if we go for example there you'll see 
the tech the type of textures that you can include in this but once again just going to leave it at this picture so once you're done there that's about it that's our first tip from here on you can just select your text boxes you can enter anything that you would like i've already got this text box set up here and from here you can explain everything here you can see the end result of our hard work and the shape that has been set out and you can see exactly how this is presented and it's a much more creative and a better way to get an image into your powerpoint slides and i hope you enjoyed this tip guys so if you have been designing powerpoint slides like the one that you can see here i have news for you there's a better way to do this so this is a bit of an outdated technique and we want to stick with the theme of using the sunset that you can see here but we want to integrate this into our slide and make the slide more creative more presentable more catchy at the end of the day so let's start off with that and let's delete this image so we want to stick with that sunset image and the first thing that we're going to do to our slide i'm going to leave the text here just for now and we are going to head over to shapes so if you can't see shapes in your home ribbon uh, you'll probably be in the insert tab and then you can head over to your illustrations and you can see shapes over there so i'm going to click on a shape I'm going to use the rectangles that you can see over here I'm going to draw a shape and then with that yellow dot you can see over here you can edit your shape as you can see you can make it a perfect rectangle or i'm going to use this rounded format that you can see here so i'll just use let's do a thin and a long shape like that but i'm just going to copy and paste a couple of these and just keep with a the theme you'll see how this works out And you can do this with any shape, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you can use circles or whatever you would like on your, on your uh, slide. This is where you can be creative and you can just have at it. So once again, let's just do another one here just to get the symmetry right. And we will just pop it down there. So you can see I'm sort of the form we're going for here. So let's just use these. And let's say just do this. So you can see we're using a couple of shapes. This is just something simple and easy. But it's just to show you how you what are all the capabilities of PowerPoint and what you can actually do with this program. So you can play around with shapes that you like. Uh, as I said, this is just something to to show you what we can do with this program. And this is where your fun starts. I mean, you can just do whatever you would like here, and the same principle just be be there uh, so once we're done i'm trying to just to zoom out to show you guys this all of these this excess doesn't really matter as you could have seen on the previous slide your powerpoint slide when you present will only show the size of the slide so any shape that exceeds that doesn't really matter it has no effect on this and if i click on this you can see i'm still clicking on one shape at a time so from here you would want to select all of your shapes as you can see here and then we'll right click and we will head over to group and we will group all of these into one large group so now you can see i can move around the shape wherever i would like it to go and everything follows so let's just leave it there so it, there is no single shape anymore 
there is just this one group of shapes. So I'm going to right click on the group and then I'm going to head over to format shape. And from format, you would head over to the shape options that you've got here. Remember in the previous slide, we did the text options. That was because we entered a text box and we used text option there. These are shapes that we have put onto our slide and this is where the shape option comes in. So again, from here, I'm going to go to picture or texture full. I'm going to press there. You can see our beach, our sunset beach that we've got there from our previous um, photo or picture that we've had on the on our slide there at the start of the of our session here. And I'm just looking to include most of the colors that I want to see uh, in this. But once this has been done, I'll just close this. If you're happy with your picture that's been imported there, you can just leave it there. And from here, I'm just going to zoom in a bit just to show you guys. From here, I'm going to right click and I'm going to format my background. So on the background, I want to have a gradient fill. So I'm going to select my gradient fill and you can see here it already, already has a couple of options. So you can, uh, there's preset gradients that you can just go through this. There's a lot of options here and same with this stuff, type of stuff. If we go radial, it will use that type of pattern. You can play around with this. There's no real wrong answers here. And but our most important section is our gradient stops that we're going to use. So here you can move this around, and as you can see, our gradient moves on our slide. So I'm just going to add a couple of gradients here just to show you how this exactly works. And once you've selected your gradient stop and you head over to the color section. I'm going to head to the eyedropper. So this eyedropper will actually, I can use this on our picture to get the exact color that we want. So I'm not going to fool around with more colors or anything and try and figure out where in the color spectrum this lands. I'm just going to use it from here. You'll see, let's just do that type of color. Uh, I see this angle is. Let's make it zero. So, or let's do a, what's it a 90 degree. So it goes from top to bottom. So as you can see, you can play around with those things. If you do 45, it's going to be in a 45 angle. A 90 degree is going to be from top to bottom. And yeah, you can play around with this. So for our next stop, still going to use the eyedropper and. We, I'm going to search for some other colors here just to go, so to show you guys exactly how this works. So let's do some sort of light blue here somewhere. Okay, I think that pretty much explains our gradients. And as you can see here, if I move this, I can even just cross these over. It doesn't really matter how you want to approach this. But you can move your gradient stops. And as you can see, it influences your slide. And you can just play around with this until you get your desired slide that you would like. Yeah. So there we formatted our background. And it sort of fits our sunset vibe that we've got around here. And here you can see exactly what you want to see from here on you can just i'll change the font color just so that it can stand out against the background but that is our second tip and that is how to get a picture into your slide without using that old method of your picture just lying on top of your slide this is a great way and you can even use a lot of transitions, a lot of, type of types of transitions to really get this PowerPoint popping from here.
So our last PowerPoint tip that we are going to discuss actually follows up on the shapes that we used in our slide number two, but this is another method that you guys can use in your PowerPoint presentations, and I hope this is very helpful. So first off, we're going ahead over to our shapes. You can get that in your, in your insert tab, uh, just wherever. But we're going to use the triangle. Uh, let's just draw a nice triangle here. Just going to flip it around. I'm going to put it into that corner. You can, let's just enlarge this triangle. So you want two triangles sort of of the same size. I'm just going to copy and paste this and just flip this triangle around. Put it into this corner. And from here, you want two smaller triangles. I know this sounds kind of confusing, but it will all make sense. So you're going to use your smaller triangle. But you're going to just a little, just get it a little bit smaller than your previous one. And from here, you can actually just go to your shape fold, and we'll just make it a white out or any color for that matter. You can do. From here, you can do grays, you can do whatever you would like, but you'll see how that works out. So just to get that there, to do our two smaller triangles, I'm going to try and get the sizes of these the same. I can see this section is just it's not perfectly parallel, but it's fine. We'll get there it, it shows our point so our smaller triangle let's do the same shape full than we did on the first one and then from here once you've done that so we've got our triangles that you can follow that and then we're going to insert a picture so i'm just going to insert from this device you can head over choose a picture that you would like can have that picture over our whole slide and I'm going to right click and I'm going to send it to the back so as soon as I do that you can see the picture is at the back of our shapes so we've got our shapes here and now we've got a section that we can write in so from here you can just uh, insert a text box I'll insert a text box over here and for example well you need to write in the text box once you've inserted it so let's just write something here just gonna leave it like that for now I'm going to insert another text box this side and here you can use your your headings and all of your descriptions that you would like. So let's just get this. Let's just put it like that. And there you have it. You can use your this section just to create something something great and from here let's just do this on a white out so that you can see how that looks i think it will be a bit more a bit easier to read everything from here and that's our third option it's as easy as that so we use shapes a lot in this tutorial but it's a great way to get your pictures into your presentations without just blopping it down there and just leaving it there in one corner so this is a great way to get your presentations to the next level and impress the people that you are presenting to so there you have it there are your three powerpoint tips that you can use in your presentations and i hope all of these tips were helpful guys uh, please remember to like this video down below if you're, you've found something that 
is useful to you and that you can use in your own presentations. And please remember to subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell, and leave your comments down below on what type of videos you want to see in the future. And we will try and make that happen for you. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. And until next time, cheers.